Now I understand we are nowhere near finished with this build, but getting that gosh dang coolant re return, whatever this this whole ugly ass assembly is, was the worst thing ever. I still can't even get the fitting out of the block. Like I beat the crap out of it, and I want to just bending it back in place. Where am I at here? And uh, yeah, that was just super annoying. Wow. At least this part of it's off. Um, throw this here in the box and see what's next here. Um, now I wanted to really, I really wanted to take the crank pulley off and get the lower timing cover off, start getting the chains off and the guides. Um, don't mind me, I'm like extremely hungover and for some reason lately, when I take Advil, I look so much worse on camera, holy crap. Like, it's been making me, like my eyes and stuff like super puffy. Like I've been up cleaning and doing stuff, like I feel fine now, like I was a little hungover this morning. But like the Advil is messing me up. I look like ass on camera. Ugh. Anyway, I'm gonna at least flip this motor upside down, get the uh, oil pan off. And you can see uh, see the bottom of the rods here. Damn dog. Now, whose dog that is? Anyway, um, oh, I'm gonna get these studs out too. So we'll stick these turbo studs out first, and then flip it, and we'll uh, start on the pan. So I don't have my uh, camera helper this video, but I think I know how to take these studs out. Like after watching Jimmy do this a bunch of times, I've never actually done it myself yet. So this will be this will be kind of fun to do. But uh, let me grab a wrench and we'll get to it. Seems like seems like nothing wants to work in my family today. So basically, what you do, you put two nuts on, you tighten one the nut on the outside up against the inside nut, and you put a wrench on the inside nut. Like like you're taking it off, but because that other nut's in the way, it turns the whole stud, you know, and takes the stud out. And I go to tighten the one stud on the other one, and it just strips out. <laughs> so hopefully this other nut will work. I'm actually gonna put this one backwards, but man, things do not want to work for me today. All right, so I got a set of nuts that uh, didn't strip out this time. So I got one off. So basically, all we're gonna do here is, you know, put this one on backwards. Which you don't have to do really, but make it a little bit easier. So we get this bad boy on there. Do 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 do. So, this on. Left-handed wrenching is not my thing. Get that on. I put this one on. Um, so now. Will okay. and hold the back one still. You want to tighten up the front one, boom. And then all you should have to do here is ah, loud noises. Sorry, but now the stud is coming out. I didn't put too much PB blaster on everything. My hands are slipping. That's how you get it done. And you'll do the same method to put them on. I don't know what the torques are to put them on, but. Voila! Easy. Don't mind my messed up nail here. Well, everything's been giving me a pain today. Um, hopefully, I've never flipped an engine upside down before on a stand, so uh, let's see how this works. Oh boy. I feel like it might break my wrist or something. Shit. Ah. Oh boy. That wasn't as bad as uh, I thought it was going to be. Alright, let's start taking this pan off. Alright, here we go. This should be uh, mildly interesting. Doesn't seem like anything's torqued on here too tight, so I don't feel bad just pressing the button here. Hoping all these uh, screws are the same length. If not, I'm gonna have to make note. Let's 
and then compare all of them. I know on the, I'm pretty sure when I, on my VR6 replacing the panel mat, some were different lengths. This one definitely, this pan is definitely easier to take off. It had like bolts that went sideways towards like the transmission and I'm glad they've made this a little bit simple, simpler over the years. Every, all of them seem to be the same way. So, I'm excited to see. I'm thinking it uses a, it looks like there's an actual gasket here too, so I don't have to use uh what's it called? RTV of any sort. And it goes back on. Just taking some random spots to stick the screwdriver in. Should be, should be it. Anything here sitting in the pan? A little piece of dirt, it looks like. Nothing on that. Let's get the camera over here for you guys. I'm wiping out the oil pan. I found this little piece of metal here. Definitely seems like it came off of something. You can kind of see here. You can flip it. I mean, it is pretty teeny, but it is, I mean, it's a chunk of something. Don't know where that's from. Good thing we're rebuilding everything. Give you guys a little, little once over here. Looks like there is one T30 holding this, I guess they call it like a windage tray or something. Like, like a, kind of acts like a baffling of some sort. I don't know. Don't quote me. I'm no expert. <laughs> This is definitely the oil pump. You can see the chain here. Um, it's chain driven. Let me right here on the other side of the, like this bolt actually keeps that gear in place. Ask me how I know, actually no, that's not that one. There's, a, there's actually another one up there. This is like uh, what mounts to this. Well, the bolt that holds the gear in, that gear goes to this gear. And, uh, I'm get this bolt out, get this tray off, get the pickup out. I wanna see inside there. It doesn't look like anything. I don't feel anything either. But uh, we'll see. He said, I do apologize for, I don't, I thought I had this tool to get the, uh, get the crank off, get the crank tool off. But... I have to order one or make one, I guess. See if anybody on the EQT page has one to let me borrow for five minutes, I'll need it. <laughs> there we go. All right, clean that up. Now we can actually see some things. Oh boy. So there is an O-ring. Woo, making a mess. The O-ring right here for this. Put that off. There's no other. Oh, there's another O-ring up here for this one. We got. I don't see any more O-rings anywhere. I need to clean this off before we make a bigger mess. Just two T30s, of course. Get this baby off. Trying to be careful not to drop them down in there. camera doesn't do it justice here but gave her a good inspection in there didn't see any bits of anything which is good it's really good nice well there really isn't all that much to see but something I thought was cool that guy right there that's your uh, piston oil squirter there I always wondered how I always, I've heard people talk about them and whatnot but I've never actually seen one until now so it's pretty neat <laughs> And just kind of shoots oil up into the bottom. Now right there, you're looking at the piston. It shoots oil, I guess, to help keep everything lubricated and cooled and whatnot. I don't think GTIs have oil squirters. And it's something, um, also, like, you're supposed to check clearance with the piston. Um, and these oil squirters, whenever you install, obviously. You want to check clearances for everything, but you got to 
make sure that the squirters don't hit the pistons depending on what kind of pistons you go with but here you can see like the bottom of the rod where it connects here my, my light kind of makes it blown up blown out there you go you got that you can see all around here some neat stuff all this a bunch of oil sitting everywhere you can see uh down in here kind of see uh diamond chain guides and whatnot very neat very very neat stamped out real big on there this is all pretty pretty interesting i think can't wait to actually pull these pistons out but i need that tool so i can get the head off and the chains off and all that but i don't even know what to do now what, what can I do? I can maybe take off this little guy real quick to take that, uh, whatchamacallit out, the belt off. Um, maybe just clean some things. Let's see, I got a whole lot of mess here now that I flipped her upside down. Ugh. Exciting. Well, guys, that's all I got for this video. I'm sorry, I promised more, but I don't, I really don't know what happened to the tool. I had like a makeshift tool for the crank pulley, I just can't find it. I searched everywhere for it, looked up in the attic, looked all through my toolboxes more than once, can't find it anywhere. So I need to find, I need to source one real fast. Hopefully I'll get one by the end of the week and then uh, next weekend we can get this freaking head off. But as I got work line stuff coming in the mail tomorrow, um, we can take a really good look at those trailing arms. They are super dope. They're gonna be a huge part to the suspension side of this build. And once those are installed, I can actually um, put my wheels and tires back on, put it on the ground, start making uh, at least a base alignment set uh, and get all the arms and everything tightened down because nothing's, nothing's like tight right now. And I know there's a couple of things I messed up on the install of uh, the control arms. I put a washer where it was or where it's supposed to be somewhere else and a couple of little tweaks, but we'll be back doing, doing that this week. You guys will have two videos, uh, one on the arms itself and then tying up the rear end there and then Next video after that, we should be back to engine stuff. Um, hatch should be here. He he told me, Premium Dust Carbon told me the hatch should be done mid-November. So we're looking at another maybe week, week and a half uh, until it ships. And then once it gets here, that'll be a whole thing in itself. And then uh, I have to find someone to make some Lexan for it. Also, I still need to order seat stuff. I still need to do some emails to other people. We got a trans update. The trans did make it too. Force fed um, racing, engineering, FFE, what do you want to call them? Um, trans is there, gear set gets there this week so they can start working on the trans. Um, it's the, a bunch of other stuff that I bought for the trans, like the LSD and stuff, hasn't made it there yet. So that's about all I got on that. Hopefully they'll record at least a couple clips for me. I don't know. I need to talk to them again, send them an email tonight. But uh, that's all I got. Uh, shout out to anybody that watched the live stream the other day. I really appreciate it I thought I was only gonna be on there for like 20 minutes and basically be talking to myself But I, I, we had like a ton of people join um, I was on there for like an hour and 20 minutes. So that was pretty cool uh, I'll be trying to do a live streak like bi-weekly every other week. I'll try and do a live stream and uh, I need to think of an idea to do this week for the That join button down there. You guys see that join button? Um, hit that if you'd like it'll really help support the channel and I'm making content just for the people that that are members So I need to think of something to make this week But if you are a member and you are watching this and there is something you want to see while the motors in the position that it is or whatever um, some extra stuff let me know in the comments and uh, yeah, That's all I got So make sure you hit that thumbs up. Thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you in the flip-flop